Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah. You better know it, bitch. We highly appreciate you tuning in. As always, love and respect. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. We got a raw show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We got Mr. Chopper Shit in the Ghetto, Mr. Bling Bling, Mr. Heart of the Screech 3, Mr. Living Legend, Hot Boy BG himself in the headlines. Apparently, WAP 100 came out and said he got paperwork with BG snitching. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, say it ain't so. WAP, what's going on with all this hating shit right now? Yeah! Oh my God. Yeah, now this man done been out over two months now. Y'all ain't came up with that allegation that this man had paperwork on him. Soon as he said he wasn't signed the cash money and he independent, now y'all wanna come out with the fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, can a nigga be great? A nigga can't be great around you, Wack 100, cause you's a fuck nigga. I mean, you want a uh, 1090 Jake to put the paperwork out, but you the one presenting the paperwork. You know what I mean? But uh, seem like to me, I smell, I smell, I smell pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talking all the shit, talking about put your money up. I got the paperwork. You know who my sources is. Yeah, I know who your sources is, bitch. You work with the FBI. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yes, you do at 100. Yeah. You got the right name, bitch. Cause in a little bit. That's exactly what you gonna get, keep fucking around. Yeah! A bitch gonna whack you with a hundred shots, bitch. Yeah, I'm so serious. You gotta lighten up on that type of shit, whack. I mean, if you gonna keep it G, keep it all the way G. Yeah! If you got paperwork with this man telling, you supposed to expose the shit. Why you waiting on somebody else to do it? Yeah! Any other time, you don't give a fuck about exposing it. You ain't gonna let nobody expose it before you, but this time, you using precaution. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah! Oh my God. I mean, why y'all talking about the man snitch? I mean, when you really read the paperwork, all it's saying that uh, it was some individuals that was in the car, and uh, it was a pistol under his seat. Now, uh, like I said before, Honeycomb Braces got fucked up because he ain't have a crash dummy. You supposed to invest in one of them. But uh, BG had enough sense back then to invest in a crash dummy, and that's just what happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all call it a fall guy. We call it a crash dummy. The nigga had took the charge, and he thought he was going to get two to three years. But when them crackers came to him with six to eight, he panicked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. You got to tell the whole motherfucking story, bitch. Don't sit up there and try to tell parts of the story. You got to keep it G if you going to keep it G. Yeah. Yeah. You got to say that. He got a lawyer and them people gave him six to eight years. Then he fucked around and tried to hire another attorney and go back on what he said. And that's how all that shit came up. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. I mean, after a nigga do that, what you expect a nigga to do? A nigga name gonna be on a motherfucking statement or two, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, y'all got the y'all got the turn snitching fucked up. If me and you go and do a lick and I get caught and I tell on you, that's a snitch, bitch. Yeah. That was snitching here. Yeah. Snitching ain't when a nigga take a charge for you. And he take the charge when he get his time, he renege. Bitch, they ain't snitching on your behalf. What the fuck? Yeah. So what the fuck he called the other nigga who reneged on the shit? That's just like playing spades. Bitch, you fuck around and renege. We taking three books from your ass. Yeah. Paul, I'm so serious. Yeah, there's consequences behind reneging. Yeah. And that nigga reneged it. Yeah, he said he gonna take the charge, but when them crackers said six to eight years, the nigga said, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, y'all got to tell the shit right, man, if y'all gonna tell it. Let the man be great. That man stood stood on all 10. He wasn't worried about nobody. That man did his time and now he out. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I'm quite sure. He been with Cash Money all this time. It's a whole bunch of shit he could have told if he wanted to tell some shit. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck a nigga, how fuck a nigga do 14 motherfucking summers and 14 winters behind the wall and the motherfucking untold? <laughs> I mean, what what kind of time he was facing? He was he was he was facing sixty years, a hundred years. I mean, he had to be facing something crazy. Yeah, that man still did football numbers. I mean, y'all come up with anything to say, man? I'm talking about what you lame as fuck, man. I'm talking about BG ain't that type of nigga. Yeah, nah, you ain't that type of nigga. Matter yet, matter of fact, you is that type of nigga. Use a motherfucking, you use dummy. a big motherfucking dummy and a motherfucking hater. <laughs> yeah, you better sit down somewhere, nigga. When you get whacked with a hundred motherfucking shots, bitch, you better know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with that whole ass shit. Talking about you want you want ten out of Jake to expose it. Nah, cause you don't want to get hit up. That's why you all uh, want 10 out of Jake to expose it. Paul. Yeah. Yeah, whack man, you need to go find something else safe to do, man. Cause uh, recently, man, you starting to do a lot of whole shit. Yeah. I'm so serious. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV. Cause we the shit.